Wine your waist, mama. Wine your waist, papa. Wine your waist, mama. Wine your waist, papa. Welcome to Culture Share on behalf of Genovan Productions. It's always a pleasure to welcome you to our program. And as per usual, you know what are we all about? Culture Share bringing you nothing but the best in cultures of Africa, the Americas, and the Caribbean. As we normally say at this time on Culture Share, get on the phone, call your best friend, and tell them Culture Share is on the air. And over the next hour, let's experience the best that we've got to offer in Caribbean talent here on Culture Share. We want to start with some music coming out of Barbados. You know, last year during the Barbados a celebration of their independence anniversary, lots of Bajan acts came up to New York City and they performed at the Clitgold Auditorium. One such group was the Merriman, a group that has been around for quite a while now. We caught them and we are sharing them here with you on Culture Share. Too lazy to fight the bread. 
read it and put a spin. Gonna lose me scope it or bite you Santa Fe. Santa Manate. Give it up a drive it up a do that that so do 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 do. Shimmy do, shimmy do, da boom bam be de. Give it up a boom bam boom bam be long be long do do be. Shimmy do, yeah, shimmy da ba dum ba yo, yeah. If only someone can tell me what's the magic in their music and what has kept them together for so long. The Merry Men Out of Barbade is a group that has been around since I was a kid and still making great music. Like we said at the start, we caught them live at the Clitgoat Auditorium in New York City. Well, from Barbados, we're going to move to Grenada. We've got an up-and-coming Calypsonian whom we caught live in a performance, and we want to share him with you here on Culture Share. Join me and welcome a man who calls himself Crazy Anger. Do some say to please The way them shouting out to please Plenty young girls staring at me Before I go jump to shake me body Four of them they come straight to me Diane and Maria Desari All of them want peace out of me The way they see watch me that is no lie I cannot stand it so you may cry Desari Told me so Desari Please let me go Desari Told me so Desari Please let me go Desari I can't take this jam while you want to kill me in this my silence Making sweet time for me For she all that three friends and not Lucy I said it's a special night for me Show the cars I wind up in this party Four of them they hook up on me I can't get space to move me body I said in me mind I get hooked by this But behind me was my friend Rocky I call him quickly to assist me For me strength of this misery It's the Zari Told me so the Zari Please let me go the Zari Told me so the Zari Please let me go the Zari I can't take this jam when I want to get me this the way the four girls get down with me I have to run out from the party I have to run out from the party I make it home, go straight in me bed I feel I fly up inside me head I say, surely I'm going to death Listen what mommy come telling me She don't think I'm going to see the Zari Told me so the Zari Please let me go the Zari Please let me go the Zari I can't take this jam while you want to kill me in this by silence I find my way in difficulties Well I day in trouble with me mommy She tell me please don't go to party But I find my way back in a party She tell me get on me in this and free Same time I get on me in this and free Tell me to just ask what she say, otherwise she go get in trouble to me. There's a way, told me so, there's a way, please let me go, there's a way, told me so, there's a way, please let me go, there's a way. I can't take this jam while you want to kill me in this by silence. Performing at one of the more popular spots in Grenada at the Sugar Mill, we caught him live, Crazy Anger, appearing here on Culture Share. We'll be right back after these messages. 
Welcome back to Culture Share, friends. You know, a moment ago when we spoke about the merriment, we mentioned the word longevity. And our next artist, that word longevity equally applies. He's been around for a long, long, long time. As a matter of fact, he's been singing in London, then he moved back to the Caribbean, residing in Trinidad, and has oftentimes been referred to Trinidad and Tobago's Road March King. Well, by now, you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Lord Kitchener, the veteran campaigner, the veteran Calypsonian. We caught him in a live performance at the Review Tent in Trinidad and Tobago. Enjoy this one.
as he's so often referred to by many. Well, from Kitsch, we're going to move out to another strong Calypsonian. As a matter of fact, I think superlatives would be all we'd be using on Culture Share here this evening for you. Let me talk about the Baron. Yes, you've heard about the Baron. Great Calypsonian, great voice, great performer. You put it all together and you got a great package indeed. Join me and welcome here on Culture Share in one of his sterling performances in New York City. This is the Baron. Right? Yeah, man. Come on, yeah, man. With me, I'm feeling for somebody to keep my company. Somebody good, somebody nice, somebody sweet, 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 sweet. I want somebody to hold up, somebody to speak up, somebody to jump up, and every. Somebody with tempo, somebody with sense, somebody who knows how to roll it up and to shake it up. I have I want somebody to have a baby party. Give it. All right, get up. Get in, get in. Just 
soca Play myself and love But you find a partner Simply have somebody home I feel them to enjoy myself And get on Oftentimes been dubbed as the Calypsonian with the sweetest voice, the Baron on Culture Share. When Culture Share continues, we'll be talking to some beauty contestants here on Culture Share, and we'd have lots more music for you right after these messages. Welcome back to Culture Share, friends. You know, test the season of fashion shows, beauty pageants, and what have you. Well, come July 27th at Brooklyn College, there'd be the Miss Caribbean Teen Pageant, and that is put on by Lachar Productions. We had the opportunity of speaking to a number of the contestants and we thought we'd share them with you here on Culture Share. As usual, first, what we did, we asked the ladies to introduce themselves. Here you go. Hi, my name is Odette and I'm Miss Apache, sponsored by Apache Bakery. My name is Nicole Dawson, I'm Miss Split Ends and I'm sponsored by Split Ends Beauty Parlor. Hi, my name is Nicola and I'm sponsored by Unique Touch. Okay, um, I'd rather start with you, Odette, since you introduced yourself first. We'd like to start with you. Um, tell me something about yourself. I mean, is this the first time you're into beauty pageants, among other things? Yes, it's the first time I'm doing a beauty pageant, but I also did a fashion show in my high school in May. Which means, obviously, you have some stage experience, so to speak. Yeah. Um, what do you plan to do? You plan to just leave it at this after this beauty pageant, or are you planning to go on to bigger beauty pageants? If things look more brighter and more fulfilling, then I wish to go on to brighter things. Mm -hmm. What do you do right now? You mentioned the fact about high school a moment ago. I mean, are you still in school, or are you just graduated, or working or what? Well, I'm a junior in high school. Mm -hmm. And um, I will be graduating next year, and um, I hope to do other shows in the future. Besides other shows, what plans do you have for the future in terms I, of a career or what? I would like to be a social worker. A social worker, yeah. which means you love to help people, I would imagine. Yes. <laughs> All right, um, Nicole, how about you? Tell me, is this the first time in a beauty pageant? Yes, this is the first time in a beauty pageant. And um, how are you feeling about this one? You know, some folks tend to feel a bit nervous, or as they say, they got butterflies in their stomach. <laughs> yeah, they're very nervous. Very, very nervous? Very. Don't worry about it. When you go out there on stage, you'll be surprised as to how much you'll be feeling confident and how much of it you put out. Um, are you still in school? Yes, I am. I'm okay. What are you doing now? Um, I'm a junior in Lafayette High School, and mm -hmm. I'm studying in engineering and computer science. Uh, that's what you hope to yes, do in the future, someday, yeah. engineering and computer science. Um, tell me a little about yourself, I mean, future beauty pageants, any plans for that? No, I plan to stop here. Uh, you just want to give this one a try for yes. the sake of experience, eh? Okay, how has it been going so far? I mean, you've been, I would imagine you've been meeting lots of folks, I mean, it comes with the, ter the territory. Yes, um, well, we just started um, exploring 
different places and on July 6th we'll be going to Coney Island to the Reggae Sunsplash mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll be able to meet other people in the near future. Nicola, last but by no means the least, um, tell me a little about yourself. I mean, I would imagine like the uh, other two ladies, you're also in school. What are you hoping to study, uh, you know, and probably pursue as a career? Well, I'm a sophomore at St. Edmunds High School, and my goal is to be a surgeon, doctor, mm -hmm. get my PhD, and give back to the community. It's always good when someone wants to give back to the community in which he or she may have grown up in, uh, which means also you'll be helping lots of people, sick people. I mean, that's yes. what doctors do, right? Okay, um, is this your first time in a beauty pageant? Yes, it is my first time. And what are you looking forward to? The challenges, winning, what have you? Oh, wow, well, that's a good feeling mm -hmm. to win, but competition is a thing. So you just leave it up to the judges. Right. You just go in there with an open mind and hopefully give your best. True. Yes, I am. How has it been going so far since you guys have gotten together? You know, I'm, I've been told I've been told that there are eight contestants, and um, you know, how how have things been going among your contestants? Even though there's this friendly competition, I would imagine. Oh yes, there is. But all of the eight girls are very friendly. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to know people, get to get them. Mm -hmm. It's really nice, that's okay. all. One final question I got, I'll ask everybody, and um, probably we start with you, Nicola. Um, I guess at your age, there must be many, many hobbies. What are your hobbies? Oh, my hobbies are instrument. That's musician. Mm -hmm. I play the saxophone and flute. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything else? Mm, I love to sing, but... Well, you can probably <laughs> sing a song first. Oh, sorry, Nailers. <laughs> so that's all. Okay. And what about you, Nicole? I like um, running track and reading books in my spare time. Running track. Yes. The athletic one in the crowd. <laughs> and uh, Odette, what about you? What are your hobbies? I, um, I enjoy singing, dancing, and I also like writing poems. And I play racquetball a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs> Three of the eight contestants taking part in the Miss Caribbean teen pageant scheduled for Brooklyn College on the 27th of July. And as we told you at the start of the program, the show is being put on by Lachar Productions. Well, while we're talking about teen pageants and, of course, teenagers, we'd like to introduce to you a teenager here on Culture Share. We're talking about Little Pinky.
performing there for you live of course and we caught that in Grenada whereas I'm talking about Grenada Grenada's carnival is coming up very shortly and culture share will be down there to enjoy the sunshine not just the sunshine but of course the many scenes in Grenada and of course be a part of the carnival happening before we wrap it up and tuck it away for yet another day, I want to say what a pleasure it has been being around here with you on Culture Share. We surely enjoyed every moment of it. As we normally say, please go on out and give the Calypsonians your support. The artists need your support. Keep those cultural fires burning. Go on out, buy a record rather than ask someone to tape it for you. Join us again next week here on Culture Share. But as we leave, I want to introduce some music out of Tobago. It's a video that we've put together for you here on Culture Share. I'm talking about Prince Unique out of Tobago, or should we say out of Trinidad and Tobago, it is called You Gotta Believe. And on that note, he's saying, so long.
Right. 